diseases and then you know so we should be able to look at more healthier aspect of our life so in that way epigenetics uh, is going to be a foundation for every one of you and i, I think you're all uh, blessed enough that i'm able to speak on this subject and today being the 30th uh, episode which i am speaking on this platform can you believe 30th episode means i have already completed 6 months in a, in a year we all have 52 weeks and then it's more than uh, half of it i have done it and it's all because of every one of you who have been instrumental in giving me this platform to you know share my views so thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity and a special thanks to george who has been a very beautiful pillar and a support in every way he can and he has been doing a great job thank you george okay now let's go into the uh, duality of water now this subject is something which every one of you know but at the end of the day i just picked up this topic because uh, it is something which we all need to really look into it and then uh, start uh looking at how do we get out of this duality and uh, start working on a universal consciousness which can help us to live a very very peaceful and uh, uh, you know amicable uh, harmonious life on this platform earth so saying this i think uh, this is a beautiful opportunity and uh, of course this is my basic uh, qualification as an epigenetic consultant and that i'm working on this uh, preventive healthcare uh, now let's get into the duality now this is uh, this is a pillar of every one of you including me i am also a person with uh, a dual uh, nature wherein of course uh, we all work on this platform because there's no other way we can uh, live on this platform but what happens is as we go on uh, working on this uh, dual platform there will be a stage where uh, you will uh, you will feel that how many times you want to jump from one to another another to another another to another so in this uh, uh, modality of uh, duality we will become tired by the time we finish our uh, life as a human being so then that is the time we realize that uh, it's not the duality which is going to help you to uplift yourself to give you a peace of mind you know to give you a harmonious thought patterns it's the just the universal consciousness but whatever said and done i think 90 to 95% of the people in the world uh, are living in the duality uh, and they have made it as a very very strong pillar with a concrete foundation now reality on earth is we all have been conditioned uh, in the duality it is it is uh, like uh, nobody's fault but it is a practicality of every situation wherein we are uh, you know in in a two process of two ways whether there is a good or a bad or a day and a night and a favorable unfavorable right thing and the wrong thing duty and i believe divine and devil and many more of course everything is in duality so when we are being conditioned that is a problem most of us face because we have been conditioned conditioning is basically uh attuning uh, our mind to a particular path which uh, uh, many a times we don't know whether it's the right path we are picking up because the conditioning is done by someone else it could be your parents it could be a school it could be a society it could be a friends anybody but at the end of the day it's basically conditioning which uh, which uh, uh, runs your life most of us are running on a preconditioned situation of life now what what we need to understand and do it when it becomes a habit to compare now just imagine in this photograph there are two things you are seeing on a left and a right one is your triangle and another one is a square how can you compare a triangle with a with a square it doesn't make sense right but we human beings are so much trained in our mind and our journey of life we would love to argue we would love to Uh, you know compare and then start giving opinions on that particular area or on that particular issue and many a times uh, without even having that information of whatever you want to compare at the end of the day whether you are going to compare two different things with two different qualities or maybe the same qualities but you would like to compare but at the end of the day it's you who have to decide what exactly do you need it's you who have to decide come what may they can be outside the uh, 100 people telling you okay this is good but still at the end of the day you need to decide what exactly for that you need to have the wisdom or for that you need to have the expertise or for that you need to have the uh, 
uh, experience uh, in life for you to uh, exactly pick up what you really need. Even after comparing, comparing it's still okay. But at the end of the day, you need to pick up something which is, uh, you know, suitable for you. I wouldn't say right or wrong. It's suitable for you. Now, so what will happen is <clears throat> at the end of the day, always we will end up according to your mindset. If probably people are talking about, uh, like in the in the present situation, we are all into the modality of talking about Corona, the lockdowns. Yes, it is all there. But what is happening is, for the past one year, we have been listening to it and listening to it. Now I think every soul on this planet Earth is fed up of listening to this particular world called Corona, COVID-19. We are fed up of it. Now the vaccination drive is there. That also we are fed up because we do not know what to do because we are helpless. We do not know. We are near not the decision makers. But what I would say is, even in this given situation, can we all be in a neutral state of our mind so that let's make our today, today being a Saturday on the 26th of uh, June, what are you going to do? Now, today is the day you have it in your hand. What do you want to do? Uh, how are you going to live on this uh, platform today? How much of water are you going to drink? What is the food you're going to uh, eat? And uh, at the end of the day, how much of money can you earn on this day? Whatever is within your reach, how much can you do? What can you do? Can you contribute anything? Now, all these are all things which you need to look at for today. We can talk 101 things. So what is your mindset is very, very important. So at the end of the day, let's change. A change in mindset is what is going to help you to move forward see at the end of the day we all have to move forward whether we like it or not we all have to move forward we have to live on this planet earth in whatever conditions we have been given to live this is the most beautiful part of our life is it's there we need to live saying that whatever duality decisions favorable or unfavorable now what happens is now let me uh, give an example now you decide that you want to buy a a Mercedes car for you, which is a favorable, you love the car and then you want to buy. But after some time when you buy the car and then uh, you feel stagnated, you know, you feel, hey, I want a, a better version of this Mercedes, you know, and you look for more features on that. But at the end of the day, what will happen is there will be a stage where that is the end of that particular car model and after that you cannot go anything more. So what will happen? You will look for another model in another company and start looking for it. So what is happening is you you are on a search mode. You will be uh, going on searching and searching until it doesn't end. So what happens is most of us, we finally realize that, hey, it's time, you know, I need to live. Either you're popped up with diseases or the situation has come that, okay, fine, I have to leave. You're going to die. You're going to leave the body and get out of this planet. Earth. Now, what have you been doing? Yes, we all have been living on this platform Earth in a dual mode, in a mode of uh, desires full of duality. A desire is always full of du duality we will have. So this is where we all need to understand that why you want to realize that before leaving the planet Earth is the time we want to realize that, hey, there is something beyond all this duality. So we need to look at that well. So angsters out there, you need to look at life more beautiful and more, more balanced so that it becomes more easy for you to execute and move forward. Now, the best part of it, this is my personal opinion, and this is what I've seen in the past 55 years. The irony is we live in duality, right? We breathe duality, we practice duality, we die in duality. But the most beautiful part of every one of us is we talk the whole life about the creator or God or whoever you are talking about, who is a universal and who seems to be omnipotent, whom is omnipresent and who is supposed to be uni or a single entity. But we all live in duality and but we talk about a single entity. But at the end of the day, are we practicing that single entity? Are we moving forward in that? Are we looking at what exactly is that part of journey wherein the universal consciousness, the universal uh, being in that way. Very simple example, if I'm going to talk about universal consciousness, just let me tell you, in this whole platform Earth, oxygen is freely available on the planet Earth. Now, can you can the oxygen specifically tell, okay, I'm going to give uh, oxygen only to this particular, uh, particular uh, country or particular race of being or particular caste of creed? Can the oxygen be divided and was the creator so smart enough to give you a particular this one? No. 
any part of the world you go, you still can breathe in and breathe out. That means it's a universal consciousness. You take water, it's also the same. You take the fire element, it's the same. When you look at the five elements of nature, everything is universal. So when you look at, a, even when you look at a plant, let me tell you, even a plant, when, it, when, when a mango ripes in the plant, in the tree, does the mango chooses, hey, only this person has to eat this mango. No, isn't it? Anybody can eat. So in that way, the whole universe in creation, it's there for every one of us. We all have the facility, we have the eligibility to utilize it and move forward. So that's what is all about universal consciousness for us to live on this planet Earth. So the biggest challenge, what is that? We need to shift from the dual consciousness to universal consciousness, but we still have to live in the universe because every day in and out, people are going to talk the comparing situation. It will be there. We like it or not, it is there. But for us to, what we need to pick and what we need to do is just get into that universal consciousness because at the end of the day is you are going to live on this planet Earth. It's not someone else. The life is yours. You have to decide what kind of life you need to do. If you live in duality, it is a never ending process. And until you are on this platform, you will be comparing and comparing and comparing and nothing else. So at the end of the day, what happens is we know, we know water. Water is what we are all. And today on this platform, we have the terahertz resonated water. This is what we are all, um, especially people who have been drinking this water. It is there. Now, water will take up your duality consciousness. I do not know how many of you all can understand what I'm talking. Water takes up the your duality consciousness or the your conditioned mind, what it gives. So in that way, what? how do I explain this? So you become what you have built over a period of time. You have built yourself as today. So such of those are beautiful souls who are all here. 70% and you all know that 70% of water in our body is a conditioned water what we have in our body according to your consciousness, whatever you have, whether you say it's good or bad or whatever it is, but that is what is there inside the recording. It is in the hard disk of your body. It's in the hard disk of your brain. It is all stored. Now, when 70% is stored with that, what will happen? It is an automated machine. It's like an automatic vehicle. You put it in the D drive, the vehicle moves forward. First, second, third, fourth, it moves. You don't need to do anything. That's the way of an automated vehicle. Now, your brain is also the same way, automated conditioned brain, which is stored information, which is already told, hey, this is what is the thing of a particular situation. It is it is given the a command to it. So what happened? The mind will automatically execute what it has been stored inside. So in that way, what shall we do today on the 26th of June? Is there anything we all can do? Yes, definitely we all can do. Even I would definitely say, even if you're going to live only for 24 hours, that is only tomorrow until tomorrow morning, we are all go going to be alive on this planet. Earth. Now, why not we live to the fullest consciousness? Why not we change what is possible within our reach? Let's change and then see what we can do forward. Now, in this situation, whom do we blame? Whatever you have conditioned, whatever you have, uh, you want to blame your parents, you want to blame your society, you want to blame anybody. No, you can blame anybody, but at the end of the day, blaming will never end. So in that way, what you need to do, what can we do about it? Shall we change? We need to change. So how are you going to change? Because water is a blessing for mankind. And at least on this country like Malaysia or Singapore or countries where water is easily available for drinking, bathing, and your basic necessities. You should be so gifted and being thankful to the situation that you need to tell multiple times, thank you and thank you and thank you, because this is what is a blessing the universe has given to you. Now, when water is a blessing, so what do we do? Uh, so beautifully, can you see this water molecule? Even it is in a dual molecule of water. Can you see two hydrogen molecules with one oxygen? Even there, the universal situation is, it's dual there. But the most beautiful part is, even though it is dual, the natural water resources from, uh, starting from the rain water to the you know, well water to the river water, these all have a fantastic high quality energy, high vibration, then with all the minerals in it, with all the 
uh, ions in it, what happens? It is going to give you the best of what it can to you because it's naturally available. But most of the time, the duality of the water, whether it's good or bad, it is created by you. So what happens? The water is there. It will be always with all the good qualities. Now, what happens? The water loses its qualities only because if, for example, you have a gutter and the rainwater falls into the gutter, what will happen? Automatically, the gutter also, even though the pure water goes inside, if the gutter is so dirty that the, automatically the pure water also becomes impure. But if it is in a, a clean environment where the collection of the rainwater is there, it will be pure and clean where you can drink the water. Now, what happens is in the duality of nature, what we can do is, especially when you are, these two things you have been doing it every day in and out. One is you're drinking water. Another one is you're bathing with water. Now, these two processes is always being done by human beings. Now, how many of you feel the blessings of the creation while drinking water? When you're sipping the water in your mouth, how many of you all are feeling, hey, so beautiful, I'm so blessed to at least drink this one drop of water. Can you imagine in a desert, there is no water, but imagine if you are put in a desert without water, what will happen? How many days can you survive? Maximum three to five days. After that, what will happen? Every organ will start failing and you will die because even plants, you don't water for some time, it just dries up because water plays such an important role. So when you are blessed of having this water for you to drink, you need to be very, very thankful for the given situation. Now, at the same time, feel the energy while bathing. Now, how many of you can do this? Have you seen children and babies, you know, when you put them in the water tub and then, you know, you give them the bathing, they will see, feel so happy, you know, to, uh, you know, with, with that high vibration of happiness within them. And you can see them smiling and playing in water. Now, how many of you and I, do we do that when we when we shower, when we take bath? How many of us are consciously, you know, bathing and then, you know, feeling that energy of water and then say, thank you so much. It's a wonderful feeling. No, when you're bathing, you'll be thinking of your office. You'll be thinking of the problems in the office or maybe you'll be cursing someone or maybe you'll be scolding someone while bathing. So what's happening is you're creating that unfavorable vibration by sending that thoughts. Now, what happens when you're sending out that thoughts automatically, the water molecule also changes to that particular either happy or sad. And then after that, it just imbibes into your body. And then, of course, you need to you will be manifesting that. So why not right from the day one in the morning, as I already told you in the previous uh, episodes, wherein when you wake up, wake up in the morning, feel blessed, you know, feel happy, give a lot of positive thoughts. Then after that, you need to uh, drink water and then go for a shower. Give every, every moment of it. Practice giving a lot of positivity to the water so that the positive thoughts will uh, enhance and help you to build up over a period of time. Even on this day, 26 June, you start today. Let's assume that uh, by December end, 31st, Maybe in this uh, whatever number of months, five months time duration, if you all can practice this kind of uh, feeling of thankfulness, feeling of gratitude, feeling of happy. So what happens is it gets built up at least in the next six months, you will be building up a very, very positive environment for whom it's for you. So when you create a positive environmental for you, the life becomes very easy and it becomes compatible for you to live on planet earth this is very very important huh? you become compatible in the environmental it may be unfavorable but when you become compatible you just know how to adjust yourself you know what to do and you will execute what exactly appropriately needed for that situation this is a very beautiful decision making you can do as long as you are in that positive thought patterns of life. So saying this, enjoy every moment of bathing and enjoy every moment of sipping in water. Now, when you are going to sip the Therahat's water, this is another beautiful. It's already existing with a lot of positive energy and with a lot of positive features and properties in the water is already there. Now, do you want to uh, 
add on to it by giving a lot of positive thoughts so that it gives the benefit for you to uh, move forward in life or you want to look at the situation where there is uh, unfavorable vibes being created and at the end of the day what happens whatever unfavorable vibration you created is what is going to be manifested so when it manifests now what are you doing the best part a human being will do is immediately will pounce upon the water terahertz device and the terahertz water and tell this is a problem now this is what has given the problem to me but at the end of the day we don't understand that it is we who have created that the water has been there only we have created it so what you need to do is let's all start taking charge of our journey of life to move forward to understand the real way what we are doing what are, what is that you are thinking what is that you are sending out the signals to the universe and what is that your signals you are sending to your own self people can tell it is a self talk right now if it is a self talk also you know when you are silent what are you talking to yourself are you talking positive or are you talking unfavorable uh words and thought patterns you are giving if it is unfavorable what is happening even though you are not sending the signal out but the signal Hi. definitely will be dissipated Hello. but at the end of the day not only the signal gets dissipated the signal gets signal to your own cells as well your cells has got water in it so automatically it does affect you so be careful in what you are self talking and you, what is your mind telling you when you are silent all alone single handed Hello. sitting in a particular place what exactly are you thinking so very very important so saying this what will happen is resonated water is the easier choice for us today even though we have all the best qualities of water available what we need to do is what is available for you today see the most beautiful situation for us is Malaysia is the first country to bring this terahertz device and then started marketing it and then you know we we started enjoying the benefits of this uh, resonated water for the past 6 months to 1 year to 1 and a half years we have been enjoying it what is happening is we need to work on other areas of how we can help other beautiful souls on this platform earth and then help them in a way where this water can give them the benefit of healing so in that way one of the easiest thing what you all need to understand is a resonated water needs to be a ph of around 7.5 to uh, 8.5 or 8 to 8.5 and the frequency very important you know everything vibrates at a particular frequency now if the water like uh, if you are looking at the tap water tap water frequency is around 120 hertz so what is happening is it's much a bigger molecule so bigger the molecule the more difficult it is for you to Uh, either absorb or uh, utilize it for metabolization because it's a bigger molecule. It's it's just like a a person if he's huge, you know, big in size, and the door is a small door. We you will not be able to walk in and go. It is difficult. So in the same way, when the molecule is bigger, it will not be able to penetrate into your cells. So this is a disadvantage. So that's where. in the research what they found is the frequency of water if it is between 50 to 60 hertz ideally it can penetrate inside but anything lesser than that it's an advantage because it's more easier for you to penetrate and then more amount of water can go inside so that it can help your metabolism in in terms of carrying the nutrition in terms of carrying the nutrients and in terms of uh, removing the toxins and in terms of uh, you know throwing out the waste products it becomes more easier now at the end of the day when the resonated water so molecular structure these see these are all uh, when we have a beautiful device and it can be measured things are much more easier now if the molecular structure is 2 nanometers it's a smallest molecular molecular size which can penetrate into your aquaporin or the cellular uh, gates you can call it as cellular gates now other than that your water should have good energy if it's if there is a good energy what happens automatically the vibration of that particular uh, water molecule is so good that it will give you an additional uh, goodness of feeling of good uh, good and positive vibes will be there other than that if you look at the nature nature means if i if you are going to the uh, waterfall or a river you know where it is not adulterated or polluted water it will have a lot of negative ions when you have lot of negative ions we 
human beings are exposed to radiation, um, electromagnetic fields, and electricity. So all these are all positive ions. So what happens is when there is a lot of positive ions in our body, that in turn creates a lot of diseases. So we need to have negative ions to neutralize this uh, unfavorable effects of the positive ions. So your water should have more of negative ions. So that is an advantage. And of course, your water needs to have uh, the required minerals. If you look at the minerals and trace elements, uh, they are almost around 70 to 80 different varieties of uh, trace elements and uh, minerals, which is there in the water naturally. And uh, in that way, if you if your water can have all those qualities of minerals and trace elements, it's definitely a good advantage for you. Other than that, many of us, how many of you all know this? It's something called oxidative reduction potential or ORP. Now, this particular topic, probably uh, if people are drinking alkaline water, they would have been told about this particular ORP because that is something which actually uh, when you have acidic body and uh, when you are drinking alkaline water, your ORP will be higher. For example, if your uh, uh, alkalinity is around 12.5 to 13 pH, that is your pH of water is around 12.5 to 13 your ORP will go between 600 to 800 or, or up to 1000. You know, it can go up to minus 1000 ORP. That means it has got a lot of oxidative, means it can donate that electron of uh, one electron to your, uh, you know, uh, like the free radical damage which is happening, it will donate one. So the more. Now, only thing we won't be able to decide who is the person who will be eligible to get that 1000 uh, ORP. But ideally for you and me as a normal human being, if our ORP is minus 100 to 200, is good enough. But if there is a, you have too much of diseases and then maybe you may uh, be benefited by drinking a little more alkaline of around 9 to 9.5 pH or even 10 pH, your ORP can go up to around minus 300 to 400. It can help you to an extent for you to recoup back. But here, uh, a word of caution, you need to understand that just because you're going to drink a high uh, uh, alkaline pH with uh, high ORP doesn't mean that your whole disease process will run away from you or you will get cured of a particular disease. Your whole body requires a proper nutrition. This is very, very important. Other than that, what's your mindset? Other than that, what is your environmental you're living in? How much of positive vibration have you created in your home or in your office? So uh, with whom are you all living in? If your whole family is full of positive vibration and talk only positive, what happens is definitely that gives an advantage for healing. So here in that way, just either by drinking an alkaline water with high pH or a high ORP doesn't mean that you will get cured of a particular disease. Please keep this in mind. But it is a tool for you to move forward. Definitely, yes. Now, other than that, the last uh, uh, water properties you need to have is the total dissolved solvent should be anywhere between 50 to 200. That means, uh, uh, let me tell you, if it is 200 means there are 200 different, different molecular structures in the form of, uh, you know, dissolved solvents, which can be inside your uh, water. Now, if your dissolved solvents is around uh, 500, for example, if it is more 500 or more, what happens is it is too much concentrated. And then, of course, your body will not be able to handle that concentrated water. In that way, one of the easiest thing you should understand is uh, the total dissolved. If it is a polluted water, it's a dirty water. Definitely the total dissolved solvents will be very, very high. Now, in that way, if you're looking at uh, a tap water, now, tap water uh, here in Malaysia, we would see that uh, there's be, there'll be a lot of iron contents. The moment you open the tap, you will see that it is brown in color. And then, you know, that means the total dissolved content is very high. That is where you need to have a proper filtration system for you to even drink water. Now, forget about going in for a terahertz resonated water. First basic quality is you need to get a proper filtered water for you to drink. Now, added advantage is if you have the options of getting a uh, resonated water, definitely that is a big advantage for you because drinking a resonated water is which will help you to move forward in your journey of life. So in that way, the terahertz resonated technology has uh, given an advantage in many, many areas and many, many situations where 
there are a lot of beautiful souls out there who have been uh, you know getting the advantage of drinking this water and thereby and definitely in my own case if i say the uric acid levels uh, really really dropped down and for the past 6 months i am still checking my uric acid level is around 220 which is below normal so and, and i i don't have any joint pains and i don't have any issues on that area so i believe after drinking this there is a lot of positive benefits uh, being there with an advantage of being a good vibration in fact yesterday i did a, a experiment and i think i would uh, complete that video i have already taken the video of the energy of our water and uh, you will be amazed to see terahertz water has got a very very high energy and uh, the normal water uh, especially the tap uh, the filtered water which i picked up uh, doesn't have much of energy i will share that video so you all will understand that the moment we resonate water it gives a fantastic high vibration that to yesterday what i did was one resonation using our jug when i did the one uh, one time resonation of 3 minutes the vibration was almost around 15 inches of vibration in my dowsing rods but when i did two times it went up to 18 so that means it's it's something amazing in my 15 years or 16 years of my uh, research on human energy fields and energy of objects what i found is anything having a higher vibration is always beneficial in terms of uh, healing process in terms of uh, beneficial effects in in terms of absorption in terms of detoxification all this will be there when there is a lot of uh, positive and good vibration so in that way terahertz uh, resonated water is something uh, it's a gift for us uh, that we are able to uh, drink this water but definitely in the future there will be some more advancement with some more different uh, uh, way of doing things and then you know probably the technology is going on and on and then it's it's beautiful for us so in that way if you are looking at the terahertz uh, resonation the other next product of course our company is going to bring out is your blower and uh, blower technology especially for pain relief your skin issues and uh, uh, especially the external uh, therapies it's something called light therapy but they are using the terahertz this is going to be the next so we do not know the next next technology as already angie has been posting and then a lot of things are available on the youtube wherein you can pick a lot of information on terahertz and its usage but here uh, water plays such an important uh, beautiful role for us so what are the benefits of drinking this uh, terahertz resonated water it contains a very high energy so it's good for you you feel more energetic better penetration to your cells so definitely when more water is there, the metabolism is much, much better for you at the cellular level. And if the metabolism is much better and the nutrients, now imagine uh, uh, the water is good, the penetration is good, everything is fantastic. But if your food, whatever you're eating, it doesn't have the nutrition, doesn't have the required amount of proteins or carbohydrates or fat for you, now, how you think the water can give you the benefit? Definitely, it won't have any much benefit even though you're drinking the water. Now, here, uh, definitely, it's good that we are drinking that water. But at the same time, you need to look at what kind of food are you eating? How, mu how much of canned food are you drinking? How much of processed food are you eating? How much of uh, uh, free radical damage content, like uh, oxidizing uh, food you're eating, fried food are you eating, all these play a very very important role in your health so please do look into every aspect of your life so if i'm going to tell you to look into it huh, even one day just one day today what you do is just look at your plate and then what exactly are you eating what kind of nutrition are you giving it to your body imagine this is a million dollar body god has given you what do you want to do wouldn't you uh, take care of it in such a way that it is uh, given the best of whatever is possible available you know it's not that everybody has to go for a organic uh, whatever vegetables or food you do can definitely now in that way one of the most beautiful uh, benefit i found with our terahertz water is cleaning of vegetables amazing when you use this water to clean your vegetable beautifully it gets cleansed and the most uh, amazing part is any oily surface you just spray this terahertz water and you wipe it it's totally clean so, in fact, there are a lot of good things uh, of this uh, terahertz resonated water. So, we need to look into it and then start 
taking the benefit. It is there. You need to utilize the situation to your best of your abilities to move forward. So saying that uh, avoiding all the unfavorable food habits, you know, what will happen is you will start looking at life so beautiful that your body will be so happy and uh, it will start working the way it should because it is all naturally prepared. It is manufactured in such a way that it will do its job without you telling it to do. But you need to just support your body with the required amount of water, required amount of nutrition, required amount of positive thoughts. You know, all these are all playing a very, very important role. So overall, you want a better health. What do you need to do? It is a collective phenomena of many factors. It is not just one factor. It is many factors which play a very, very important role for you to run into this journey of life. So what do you need to do? Drinking adequate amount of water in this today hustle bustle world of life. You know, so busy. But I would say, what kind of busy life are you living today? Because with COVID, most of us are all actually working from home. If you're working from what are you doing? Sitting in one chair and then on the computer all the time. How many of you have a blue screen protection, you know, blue light protection for your eyes, especially on your computer screen? Do you have a blue uh, rays uh, protection shield? Does your uh, spectacles, what you're using, has a, a blue light uh, prevention uh, shield, which is there on the now, when you see my glasses, you can see something, you know, shining like a blue because this is specifically I got it done with the blue light ray protection because today's LED lights, what you are using uh, emits a lot of, especially you're going for the cheaper qualities. It emits a lot of blue light, but it will be very bright for you, you know. Now, brightness alone is not enough for us. Brightness is good, but you're exposing your eyes to that blue light. So what you need to do, you need to protect yourself. So now what you... Now, the, you have to go for something which you need to protect. Now, if you go on telling, hey, doc, I'm drinking terahertz water, so I need to get the protection automatically. Do you think it's going to happen? No. You need to take proper protection in the specific way, manner. What is necessary, you should do it. So in that way, with this uh, 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 home-based uh, you know, home uh, working atmosphere for every one of us, even though... Uh, we may be busy, I don't deny that, but still what you need to do is take care of yourself by drinking adequate amount of water. The best option you will have is put in uh, one and a half liters and one and a half liters of two bottles of water in the morning. And then by the time uh, evening or night, you should have finished the two bottles so that your required amount of water is given to your body and the body knows what to do. And especially a special uh, requirement for you to drink this particular terahertz resonated water is start with lower dose because we wouldn't know whether your body is able to adapt to the sudden change of a, a new high vibration water to your body because all the while you would have been drinking another water probably it may be good water filtered water yes good enough but the energy in it was it a high energy so this is where you need to understand that when you are taking a terahertz water, you need to start with slow of our own, you know, probably start with, especially with multiple diseases, start with 100 ml or 150 ml to 200 ml, then slowly increase it. Make your body feel that it can accommodate whatever changes you are doing. See, many times a change will not happen overnight. You need to practice it regularly so that it, uh, it gives an advantage for your brain also to accept the change, your mind also to accept the change. And then, of course, finally, your body needs to accept the change. So all these require a little bit of balancing act, which you need to do. So do drink water in a divided dose in the form of maybe 100 ml each for the five times, then slowly increase it. It's, it's all how you want to do it. Do not gub one... Uh, short of 500 ml of uh, terahertz water one shot because your body of course when you drink so much of water what will happen it will go inside just go out you know it will just wash off and many a times it can give a little more pressure on your uh, kidneys and especially people on the elderly age group with uh, kidney issues or lung issues or heart issues you need to be a little more careful because that is when uh, if you are not allowed to drink a lot of water, you need to start with little amount of water and slowly increase it, depending on how you can adapt. 
like for example if you feel breathless by drinking more water then of course you need to reduce it back but most of the cases where i am uh, handling uh, uh, kidney failure patients and uh, heart issues i found that as you uh, gradually increase the water your body is able to accommodate and then you are able to drink more water so when there is a lot of good hydration for your cells your cells know what to do your cells are intelligent they know what to do so please give an opportunity for your body to uh, you know change uh, in a slow manner so what you need to do this is very very important is do not drink water for curing a disease because uh water did not create the disease for you water did not create the disease for you the disease was a situation which happened maybe because of our ignorance or maybe because of our genetic issue or maybe because of some epigenetic factors which without, without our knowledge you know we started facing that situation it's still okay but the moment you think that okay i am going to drink water because water is very very important for my existence on this planet earth this is what your mind is going to given command to yourself i am going to drink water for my existence now what will happen when you are going to drink water for existence your cells know very well that you want to live on this planet earth and then you are drinking this water now don't you think your cells are intelligent enough to pick this particular water molecule and do what it is supposed to do with the water molecule and then uh, you know give the benefit of healing you know it's an automatic process so healing will automatically happen when there is a process of feeling of positivity within you while you are drinking water but i'll just give you an example uh, you are having diabetes now when there is a diabetics there are a lot of cells which are all finding it difficult for it to uh, you know metabolize your sugar this is a problem the cells are facing now what happens you are drinking the water and you are thinking someone told you you drink this water and your diabetes will be uh, probably reversed or probably cured or whatever the information they give and you are drinking this water all right now what happens is as you are intelligent enough in your thought patterns your cells are also intelligent in the same cell pattern now what happens the cell will be thinking this fellow is drinking this water and telling me to uh, you know clear this metabolism and clear the sugar metabolism and uh, give him a cure of the disease how am i going to do that how water can come and do that job he is supposed to do exercise regularly at least for a minimum of 30 minutes to for which he is not doing other than that he is supposed to handle his food in a manner where there is less of glycemic index so that that food i am able to you know metabolize better other than that he is supposed to take some nutrition which is very important for me to metabolize the uh, sugar other than that he needs to keep his uh, liver healthy for which he needs 35 vitamins and the kidney needs extra water now when the cell starts speaking to you in this way now what will happen your mind is telling i am drinking this water and i want to get cured of this diabetes but do you think it will happen so what you need to do just give it a change a little bit change you are going to drink water let the body decide let your cells decide what they want to do let them decide they are intelligent enough but are you giving a support in the manner which is really necessary for your healing if you are giving that then you can ask for the healing of the cells to happen and the cells will do the needful but you are not doing anything on one side but expecting just a cure and a relief from a disease how the body is going to work so this is where change your thought patterns change the way you are thinking about it's not just only drinking water even the food you are eating actually you need to be so positive that feel that the food whatever you are eating is full of vitamins and nutrition and then feel that and then say oh now you are going inside my body please go and do the job what you are supposed to do and give me all the strength for me to live on this planet earth can you believe when you ask for that strength of Uh, positivity to your cells what will happen your best, your body will be the moment you are healthy don't you think you can go and work for 14 hours or 18 hours and earn some money for your own self yes why not you should be so you should be healthy enough so but it all starts with the way you start your day the way you eat your food the way you drink your water everything plays a very very important role so what i wish to let you know you have to change your consciousness very very important what is that universal consciousness is a necessity it is not a choice we can, you can choose it is a necessity for you to live peacefully on this planet earth so from duality be smart 
in the duality living is beautiful but at the same time get into a situation where give lot of positive commands to your own self give a lot of positive information pick a lot of information positivity which is there available on the google pick it up but there also what will happen is so much of information is flooded on the internet now is everything right information i wouldn't know i won't watch for everything but at the end of the day you are a beautiful intelligent being and you are very smart in every aspect of your life so when you are so smart in your life why not you can pick the right information for you and execute the same thing for your own journey of life this is what we human beings as a uh, creator has created us to be the most evolved being on this planet earth we have been living here for billions of years we are living here but today 2021 june 26 we are supposed to be the most intelligent being on planet earth but very sad part is one small virus called corona we are not able to control it one small virus we are not able to eradicate it and one small virus put everybody like a jail we are all inside the house you know everything changed how come it's just a small one virus how is that now we can't explain we we we, we see our consciousness may not be even able to think how is this happening but it is happening but on this platform with so many beautiful souls down here if we can think of uh, a more positive way of understanding of how this beautiful universal consciousness is working we all can do something this 200 people who are all on today's platform here we can be a contribution to this platform earth and then you know we can do many good things by you know giving the positive information out there when you're whenever you are giving recommending our terahertz resonated water what you need to do is be very clear in what you are giving and be very clear in what you are advising those beautiful souls who may be innocent who may be ignorant of knowledge on this particular device or this particular water your job pick all the information and share it with them and when you share it with them what will happen is when they receive the right information they will be able to understand that the water is for existence and not for curing the disease the moment they understand that your job is easier isn't it otherwise what will happen is you are advising something and they pick it up and they think that their diabetes or blood pressure or heart problem everything will get cleared and they are going to drink and they don't need to go to ign they don't need to go to the hr hospital whatever it is what will happen after some time they'll be what i'm still continuing with the medication i'm still this is where let's be very smart let's do what we need to do by giving the right information even if you are giving a little information is good enough in that way one of the easiest information you can share is drink tarahs water for existence amazing isn't it it has got a good high quality energy it has got all the beautiful properties antibacterial property antiviral property anti radiation anti aging property the angulation is wider so that the penetration is much better so all this when you have such beautiful qualities of this water you should be looking into it but at the end of the day with all these beautiful properties and qualities what is that the purpose of drinking water only purpose i would say is for existence you are going to live on planet earth for today drink water drink little water increase it as long as you can actually enhance the amount of water you are drinking but such of those who are having multiple problems of course that's where we as doctors and there are a lot of other beautiful souls who will be able to assist you in your journey by uh, giving the right uh, information for you to balance yourself with by drinking this water so saying this i feel uh, it's an amazing opportunity for all of us to be here so until i come back uh, probably i think i might be continuing the same dual consciousness because there are a lot of information which i want to share so next week i will until i come back to you all have a fantastic universal consciousness of life and drinking water for the existence of life and then have a fantastic day fantastic uh, weekend and enjoy this covid uh, lockdown of course uh, malaysia i think we are going to have an extension for another 15 days we do not know but still whatever comes now one uh, ex extension we already got it so 28 days we are going to complete it doesn't matter we still are living and uh, we are still able to continue our journey of life so this itself is the biggest blessing 
and the most beautiful blessing for me is you people down here so enthusiastically coming down to listen to this uh, whatever sharing i'm doing so thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity and thank you angie take over thank you very much dr prabhu wow it's heavy rain outside is in it Singapore. yeah thundering okay yeah so uh for those have any question for dr prabhu Yes, can you please unmute my unmute your mic? But doctor, today you dress very handsome. You have a special no, event. It, it's it's, <laughs> uh, it's a feeling of existence, you know. You you need to live on this platform. Earth. <laughs> Feel good. Wow, great. Huh. So anybody has any question, then you can ask doctor here. Jimmy Leong, thank you very much. <laughs> Doctor, can I yeah. ask one question? Can I ask one question? Hey, Joseph, yes, yes. Joseph, Joseph from Sabah. Oh, Joseph. Yes, yes, Joseph. Uh, I remember you did mention something quite very earlier on the, the heart. Uh, they do the battery, they put the battery. Uh, remember? Okay. So uh, how is it that this uh, rust water can help, help him anymore? Can, can still help? Okay, very simple. I will give you an example. Huh? Now, mm. you have a bu bulb which can light up when you mm. use one single battery, you know, you connect them, the bulb will illuminate. Yes. So what yes. happens is uh, you want to make it more brighter. So what will happen is you can add another battery to it and then make it more brighter. But what will happen is the bulb will get fused. You know, if there is too much of current, the bulb will <laughs> yes, get fused, yes. isn't it? Yeah right, yeah, right. So in the same way, what is happening is we as doctors, what we did is because your heart is not able to beat in a regular manner mm -hmm. uh, because yeah. the conduction, the wiring system, there is some issue, you know, conduction. Okay. Okay. So what the doctor decided is, okay, fine, let me put a battery and then that will in turn with a chip, it will control the your uh, heartbeat regularly so that uh, the pumping okay. action of your heart is in a smooth Normal. manner correct uh, now right. that is on one side now on the other side what is happening is i have been talking to you about uh, uh, terahertz water which has got a high energy right yes now yes. when you're talking about high energy if you're going to push your body with very high energy too much of water Okay. Maybe it's only maybe, uh, because we do not know because we have mm. not tried mm. giving a person uh, uh, probably one to two true, liters true. of water with a heart problem. We don't do it. Right. Okay. But what yes. I am telling is, okay. if you are pushing the body with this water, it is only to be on the safer side. The company feels that if you are okay. using a, a battery in your body, so what mm. they say is they say avoid this water. But okay. what I would recommend is. You can definitely drink little, little amount of water so that your body is so huge, you know. You mm. know, the amount of water in your body is almost, you know, 70% uh, is water. So when right. you're drinking little, little amount of water, definitely yeah. your body doesn't feel uh, challenged by Ch it. Uh, okay. It doesn't gotta... feel challenged. It takes it up because our okay. body is very intelligent. So in that yeah. way, you need to give it a try by mm -hmm. drinking the water little by little. Initially, okay. probably you can mix up with 50% of normal okay. water and 50% okay. of uh, the uh, terahertz water. As okay. you're drinking this, what will happen is your body is feeling comfortable. You are also comfortable. Okay. And then okay. you can slowly increase the amount of water and go with only terahertz water and see for one week to two weeks. How do you feel? Okay. 99% okay. you will feel very okay because I have seen people with... Uh, uh pacemakers uh, drinking terra okay. water they never had any problem they were drinking for most almost one to two months but the moment they uh, read this particular thing that uh, you know pacemaker people cannot drink water the mind picks up okay. that information hey you cannot uh -huh. drink water automatically so mind also plays a very very important role Correct. in what we are doing so okay. it's always better go with the slower quantity Slow. and uh, let your body uh, you know, uh, adapt okay. to it. Okay. All right. So in that way, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. You will not die by drinking Terra's water. Definitely not. But you should know what your body is speaking to you and how your body is responding. Okay. You okay. have to give it a try. There is nothing wrong in that. Okay. 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 A second question. Can I have a second question? Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, I met another uh, 
uh, not say patient uh, the this this uh, we call it patient. She's going going to wait for the you know the wolf, the wolf operation. Valve replacement, yes. Replacement, but now uh, MCO kit. Uh, I mean delay, delay, but still manage uh, to live lah. So this type of case uh, advisable to take the rest water. Okay, see what is happening is uh, the valve, there is a problem there. So when yeah. your heart is pumping the blood, the blood has to go okay. up and to the, all the parts right. of the body. But the valve is like a, a system well, wherein it has to block the, block the blood from blood, going blood. back to the heart. Okay, oh, now there see. is a problem. So what is happening is, especially uh, we need to look at two, different, two important issues in this particular person. Is the person blood very thick? Okay. Oh. If the blood is very thick, doctors would have already put them on uh, blood thinners. Okay. Oh. Now, when they are on blood thinners, the blood is already thin. thin. Now, in that situation, you are going to add on the terahertz water. What will happen is terahertz water by itself has got a very, very thin. low viscosity. That means oh. it's more slippery and more easily moving forward. Now, okay. Here, definitely when you're adding on the water to this particular patient, what will okay. happen is they are already on a uh, blood thinner and then this definitely okay. will give another situation Other. where the blood leakage can be a oh. little more than oh. situ yeah. the required situation. So here okay. we need to yeah. balance. So in that way, it's always better to be under the guidance of a doctor and then you know, mm. handle them. But drinking Terra's water in a quantity required, you know, minimal amount, little bit of, uh, you know, in a uh, 100 ml each for a day or, or on 500 ml per day shouldn't okay. cause any problem. The remaining water can be with your normal water. No water. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dr. Prabhu, I have a question. Yes, Magdalene. Dr. Prabhu, I have a question. Yes, my uh, Yes, uh, it's regarding uh, heatiness, body heatiness. Other than drinking terahertz water, um, the throat still feel inflamed. What other uh, holistic way that I could uh, reduce the body heatiness? Okay, you instead you're, of taking pills. I mean, okay, you say it is heatiness. May I know exactly what kind of heatiness are you talking? Is it pain? Is it feeling uh, tired? No, the. Uh, no, it's just the throat inflammation. Okay. Throat inflammation. Then um, the throat feel warm. The throat feel a bit uh pain when solar saliva, which is quite commonly an issue uh over here actually in Singapore. Which which so, part of uh, Malaysia? Uh, no, it's uh, Singapore. Singapore. So you mean to say, is it the environmental which is giving you that situation of heatiness? No, uh, it's just my body probably like. Uh, for example, people eating too much durian, then they will have body heat dinner. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, something like that. So other than um, drinking terahertz water, I've been drinking, but I still feel the body, the throat um, is a bit inflamed, warm, warm. When I swallow okay. saliva, it's a bit uh, pain. Yeah. Okay. Now here the situation, Magdalene, very simple. How young are you? Uh, I am 50. Okay. Now, when you're looking at 50 years of age, just visualize that your cells, you know, are 50 years old. Now, what will happen is, do you think your cells will work the same way as you were in a 20 years old? Definitely the lubrication, definitely the way it absorbs your nutrients or definitely the, especially the, uh, your toxins going inside your body through your mouth and through your air. The way it neutralizes will be definitely less. Number one. Number two, if you're looking at uh, neutralization of this situation, there are a few things I would look at is number one, the amount of toxins inside your body in general, but in specific, if you're looking at the throat is the most commonly exposed for the uh, external environment. Uh, other than drinking water, if you're looking at, I would say, number one, uh, we have to look into how much of toxins do you, have. especially lead toxicity is uh, another problem most of us are facing. So definitely we will uh, have an issue, especially with the throat. Other than the lead poisoning, cadmium poisoning. Cadmium is when the smoke, especially uh, cigarette smokers, when you look at the cadmium content is very high in the air. So when you're inhaling, definitely that also is going to cause a lot of problem. Other than that, mercury. Now, when this 
uh, there are five important uh, toxic metals which are all causing uh, irritation of your throat. This is on one side. Nutrition wise, if you look at uh, omega-3 deficiency is another very, very common uh, uh, problem I notice in my practice that less of omega-3 will cause more inflammation to your body. That is one of the areas. Other than that, CoQ10 enzyme deficiency and especially 40 plus, our CoQ enzyme will be less. So automatically you're looking at the cellular level of functioning for energy. Your cell doesn't have the CoQ10 uh, for it to uh, metabolize. <clears throat> Other than that, if you look at vitamin B complex, it's a very, very common vitamin which is deficient. And this you can see a lot, especially vegetarians, they will be having a lot of vitamin B complex deficiency. So how do you consume? By just consuming uh, vitamin B12, many a times it's not sufficient. But today, one of the easiest and best is taking a vitamin uh, injections would be much more appropriate wherein your local doctors can assist you. You can take weekly once one injection for six weeks. That really will give you a boost for you to, you know, uh, in the cellular metabolism. So like that, if you go on looking into the specific areas, uh, it's much more detailed. We need to go, why are you having the inflammation? So we need to look at the other factors which is really causing you the inflammation. And then from there, what you can do is you can start doing some steam inhalation with plain water. And uh, other than that, drink warm water. And other than that, look into these areas of deficiencies. Probably this can assist you to move forward. But if it doesn't, then get back to me. Probably uh, I may have to talk to you to uh, give you some guidelines. Okay, Ken, thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, good morning, Dr. Prabhu. Yes, Chua. Yes, Chua Wampinang. So, uh, just now I heard you talking about uh, a resonated water. When we resonate for the second time, you have uh, found that more energy is contained inside the water. Correct. So how about, let's say, three or four times or more? Fine, fine. Ten times also we can So do. could that be more now, efficient? Now, very simple. Uh, there is a particular capacity of the molecules in this universe, be it water or be it air. It has got a capacity. Now, what I found is just two times resonating is fantastic good enough. We don't need to do three times, four times or five times. We don't need to because you're not going to give more benefit by doing more times. But two times is ideally fantastic for you to uh, get the best benefit of the water resonation. Okay, good. There's a saturation. Thank you, That's doctor. it. That's it. Yeah, saturation. Yeah, good, good. Very good. Nice. Uh, doctor? Yes, Dan? Doctor? Uh, doctor, you were saying, uh, 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 just now you were saying 5.5 .5 liters water, uh, the water bottle, 5.5 .5 liters. Remember? You were saying 5.5 .5 liters, you resonate twice. No, no, no. Our but jug is 3.5 the... liters. Our jug is only 3.5 liters. Our, our, our jug is 3.5. 3.5 yes. resonate once, good enough. Very yes. good enough. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, just now you you were you were saying five point five liters uh, uh, water bottle. Okay. Okay. No. Let me so let me rephrase what I said. Let me rephrase it. Uh, uh, okay. I used okay. a jug of three point five liters. Resonated one for three minutes, and the energy was around fifteen inches. Then, when I resonated for the second time, that is another three minutes, the energy was almost 18 plus. That means highly energy, but I used only 3.5 liters. I didn't use the five yeah. minutes. Uh, uh, doctor, what were you saying? 18 inches or 15 inches? What, what were we That's saying? the measurement which I am using through the dowsing rod to check the energies. This is my personal oh. research I've done for 15 years. Okay, okay, sorry. Thank you, thank you. And then one more question, uh, uh, doctor. Yes, sir. Doctor? Yeah, doctor? yeah I'm listening. One, one more question. Okay, the, 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 the company supplies the mini mini filter. You know? Yeah. When you buy the set. Absolutely. A mini filter. Okay. That's right. So 
can we can we fix the mini filter onto our uh, 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 tap water? Okay. Onto our on the our house tap. Okay, Angie, I think you should answer this because you have already got the certification by using this filter and getting the certification from Singapore. Can you just uh, add on, Angie? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, uh, this filter, there are eight layers and it is alkaline, it's a mild alkaline. So we have done the testing in Singapore, let's go. The pH is around 8.1. So uh, it's a uh, good if let's say your house don't have any filter, uh, so you can use a, co a company filter. But you, if your house already have a very good filtration system, like a, a very branded filter, then you continue use your filter. Yeah. So the water from your filter, you just scan, resonate three minutes, then you drink. That it will enhance whatever, uh, whatever benefits in from your filter, and you will enhance it even further. Huh? So, so in other words, NJ, and yes, yes, yes. In other words, if, if we use the company's uh, mini filter mm -hmm. to filter from the uh, from tap. the tap, filter water yes. from the tap on the yes. tap, household tap, government mm -hmm. tap, okay. Yes. So it should be okay. We can resonate with it. Ah yes, yes. You are in Singapore or Malaysia? No, Kelantan, Kelantan. Kelantan. And so it depends on the water at your site. So in yeah, Malaysia, very, very, dirty. very, very time, dirty. Very dirty. So most of the time, very outside dirty. your house, huh? Outside your house, you must have one layer of the filtration system to remove the big particle. Then, because the company filter is 0 0.1 micron, it's very tiny. So it will become very dirty very fast. For example, my sister in Penang is around three days, is yellowish already. Oh, so you can wash the filter. You can wash the filter. You can wash it. Just uh, jet spray the the filter. Don't touch it. Just spray. Uh, so that until means, uh, you have you have mm. to uh, uh, filter. Put one filtering system outside. Yeah, it's better. Or else, uh, your filter very fast will become dirty already. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. for Malaysia, you need to have uh, one more layer outside the house. Uh. Oh, in Singapore, okay. we directly apply this. One week also become dirty. Then must wash. Uh. Uh, so you can see it is yeah, transparent. You can okay. see. And oh, now okay. I'm, I'm not trying on the uh, government tap water. No. I'm trying uh. on the underground water. Okay. Underground water. Using Understand. a pump to, 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 to pump it. Can, okay. can. Yeah. And then you can apply tank. You, you mm. listen to me first, please. Into yes. a tank, pump, pump, mm. pump, pump up into a tank. Yes. All right. And then from the tank, come out, uh, come out. You we use uh, I use the 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 company's mini filter. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then I resonate the water. Mm, okay. Can, can, can. I've been doing this for about one month already. Okay. The mini the mini uh, filter is still crystal white. Wow. Wow. Mm. That's amazing. Oh, okay. So then the underground the, water is be, cleaner than the water, tap water from government. Underground, not tap water. My underground water. Underground water, could, yes, yeah. Could be very, very, very clean. Very maybe. clean. Yes. Uh, naturally, yes. naturally filtered, maybe. Yes. Uh, not maybe. It, it should be. Should be yeah. naturally filtered. You know. But for this case, huh, the benefit of using this uh filter, the mini filter, is you will enjoy the alkaline. 